Okay, sis. This is a judge free zone. But I have a real question for you. When the last time you wash your brushes? Just a question. I'm just asking a question. So you use all these five star products to clean your skin, rid your skin of blemishes and anti-aging creams and serums. Or I know some people can just splash some water on their face and a little drops of some dial soap and say, I'm just saying, shout out to you sis, that ain't me. I'm proud of you, but it ain't me. Nonetheless, your brushes need to be clean. And they need to be clean consistently. And I'm gonna show you how you can do it. And I'm gonna show you a little hack on how to fix those brushes that on the struggle bus. In the front of the struggle bus. This is one of my favorite brushes too. It's my foundation brush, but baby, it don't even have a foundation. <laughs> its foundation has broken. But stay tuned, gonna show you guys. See what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, stay tuned. So first you want to start off by using a container that allow your brushes to stay in an upright position. Then you're going to add your soap. I use baby soap in this video but would recommend Dawn if you have a lot of product buildup in your brushes. Then you're going to add you some vinegar so that way you can actually have that distilling sanitizing agent in there. And then you're going to add your brushes. So you want to place them and make sure they're in an the upright position and that they're all being saturated with the mixture. Now you want to let that set for about 30 minutes to an hour and then you can actually come back and check on the brushes and then begin to do the deep cleaning portion. At this point I'm just taking the brushes and then being able to rub them gently to get the, all the extra product out. This was the struggling foundation brush and I realized it had a little bit more product than the other ones so I added some Dawn to it. So like I said if you have a lot of product build up in your brushes you're going to want to use Dawn to really be able to get that grease out um, and that dirt and grime to really clean those brushes. Now you want to take the bristles and shape them back into the proper direction. This is an important step because however you shape them now is how they will dry and that is going to be the end result. As the brushes are drying, you want to go ahead and fix that one little struggle foundation brush. I'm using the E6000 glue. It's a great glue because it has some super strong hold. I recommend having this in the house for all kind of random things. So just applying it to the base of it and then putting the top of the brush on, securing it and wiping off the excess glue. And then I'm going to sit it down so it can actually dry. Now with just three household items, you have squeaky clean brushes. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and bringing you to bring your brushes from old to new. Clean up with Ruby, boo, <laughs> Boris. And if you have any questions, please make sure to leave them in the comment section. Otherwise, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this post. And then make sure you hit that notification button so you can get notifications when new posts become available on my channel. Other than that, see you next time. Thank you. Bye, gems.